What's poppin' everybody? Make sure you click that subscribe button, thumbs up the video. Most importantly, leave a comment. Feel free to click one of the donation links in the box. So I wanna talk about this whole situation with Cat Williams and Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. For those of you that don't know, obviously Cat Williams did an interview two weeks ago where he basically was saying that he does not think that Tiffany Haddish is funny. He thinks that she's in the position that she's in today because she kisses white men's ass and you know she likes the white man and basically he was saying that she's a sellout you know and he he said the same thing about kevin hart you know we've seen kevin hart in movies wearing dresses and we all know that whenever we see that going on something ain't right but i want to i want to talk about the bigger picture of this entire situation you understand what i'm saying um First of all, I want to salute Kevin Hart because I think Kevin Hart's Breakfast Club interview was dope. My only problem with that interview is he didn't allow Tiffany Haddish to speak up for herself. He barely let her speak throughout the entire interview, if you want to be honest. And, and I think that he should have allowed her to speak for herself more because Kevin Hart is not her, her father. You know, Tiffany Haddish is, you know, 38 years old, 37 years old. I don't think she needs another nigga to speak for her throughout the entire interview, but I understand that he was standing up for her because obviously, you know, he looks at her like a little sister. But um, I want to salute Kevin Hart because what Kevin Hart did was dope. You know, Kevin Hart basically was saying, listen, you know, as, as African-Americans and black people in general, we complain all the time about not getting the same opportunities as white people. We complain all the time about not winning enough Oscars and not winning enough, you know, awards at these, you know, film, uh, film um, award shows. And basically, Kevin Hart was talking about how he started his own film company and how he's no longer, you know, a worker. He's actually, you know, a businessman who's partnering up with these other big movie companies and he's writing his own movies he's writing his own scripts he's a he he is a big factor in picking who he wants in the movies and he basically was explaining that you know he's given a lot of black people opportunities by allowing them to be in these big major movies that we're seeing in theaters and i wanted to salute kevin hart for that because i feel like we don't see enough of that in the black community we don't see enough of us you know starting our own companies and 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 starting our own you know businesses and and partnering up with people instead of just working for them because you know we're not accustomed to thinking like that you know we still have the whole slavery mentality we don't think like bosses most black people think like workers you understand what i'm saying like i guarantee you if you was to tell somebody in your family right now that you wanted to put together fifteen thousand dollars to purchase a subway they would look at you like you're fucking crazy you understand what i'm saying so i want to salute kevin hart for that and um you know i agree with him in my opinion you know the bigger situation of this is as black people man we need to stick together we can't be out here saying black lives matter and saying all this bullshit and every chance we get we 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 take an opportunity to take a shot at one at one of each other like and and i'm gonna go ahead and say this i believe cat williams is one of the funniest comedians do i think he's funnier than kevin hart yes do i think he's funnier than tiffany haddish yes but what what we need to understand is there's nothing wrong with being a fan of everybody i think kevin hart is funny i think tiffany tiffany haddish has funny moments me personally, I haven't seen enough movies with her. I haven't seen any of her stand-ups to say that she's not funny. So if I was to just shit on her in this video, it would be ignorant because I haven't seen enough of her material to actually say whether I think she's funny or not. Kevin Hart, I've been watching Kevin Hart since Soul Plane came out. I think Kevin Hart is hilarious. You understand what I'm saying? But the bigger picture of all of this is, as black people, we need to stick together. We got to stop beefing with each other. We got to stop arguing with each other. We got to stop comparing LeBron to Michael Jordan. We got to stop comparing Michael uh, Kobe to Michael Jordan. We got to stop comparing Cat Williams to, to Dave Chappelle. We need to just stick together. We need to start our own businesses. We need to put our money together. 
And we need to stop hating on each other because I'm going to be honest, bro. Cat Williams is coming off as a hater. And I'm glad that Kevin Hart spoke up for himself as a man because there's plenty of times where I've seen people like Mike Epps and Cat Williams continuously take shots at Kevin Hart saying how he's not funny and how he's wearing a dress. And I think that these two individuals are very jealous of Kevin Hart's success. Everywhere you turn, you see Kevin Hart. You can't go to the movies more than three months without seeing a new movie with Kevin Hart in it. And I think that we have to salute people like that because Kevin Hart is doing something that I believe hasn't been done since Chris Rock did it, since Eddie Murphy did it. You understand what I'm saying? I think Kevin Hart is in the same category as Chris Rock and Eddie Murphy when it comes to being a successful black comedian. So the bigger picture of all of this is we have to stop the bullshit. We got to stop comparing one another. We got to stop hating on each other. We got to stop knocking people down and, and telling them how we feel about them. Listen, there's nothing wrong with having an opinion. There's nothing wrong with saying that you don't think that somebody is funny. The difference is, is when you do it publicly on a radio station and you start saying shit like, oh, the only reason Tiffany Haddish is, is, in, is, is where she's at right now is because she loves the white man like that's you know that's that ignorant shit we got to get out that whole mentality of blaming everything on the white man it's 2018 there's too many successful black people out here to still be blaming shit on the white man we got to start blaming shit on the black man because i feel like in 2018 black people's worst enemy is black people if you become a successful star and you stay in your hometown 90% of the time, somebody that's black is going to kill you. And it might be somebody that knew you in middle school or high school. It might be one of your family members. They might ask you for something and you don't do it. Them niggas going to kill you. You feel me? So, you know, this is something I wanted to get off my chest. You know, um, I just feel like we got to stick together, man. We got to get out that, that crabs in a bucket mentality, man. I think a lot of people become jealous when they see people doing what they couldn't do and like kevin hart said cat williams had the chance to be who kevin hart is today but what did he do he started doing drugs do you guys do you guys remember when kevin hart oh sorry do you guys remember when cat williams was going to jail every week i believe this was like three years ago do you guys remember that do you guys remember when cat williams was doing concerts And he was continuously getting booed off a stage because he was too high on drugs to even perform. Do you guys remember when he was going to jail every week for for beating people up and shit like that? You know, Kevin Hart is right. Cat Williams, you got to take a look in the mirror and blame yourself, bro. Stop, Stop blaming people and stop picking on people and stop hating on people that's doing better than you right now. At the end of the day, you're a legend. You're still one of the funniest comedians of all time. There's millions, there's thousands of people out there that think that you're funnier than Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish. But guess what? Kevin Hart is outworking you, bruh. <laughs> At the moment, Tiffany Haddish is outworking you, bruh. It's just like the rap game. It's a lot of rappers out here that's garbage. But them niggas got to work at it. Them niggas know how to hustle. And that's why they, that's why they popping right now. It ain't because of the music. It's because of the work they putting in. So with that being said, click that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this entire situation. I think it's foolish, and I'm glad that Kevin Hart said what needed to be said. We got to stop the bullshit. Um, Feel free to click one of the donation links in the box. I'm out. Skirt.